A shipment of serially produced PD-14 aircraft engines has been delivered by the United Engine Corporation to the Irkutsk aircraft plant. The new medium-haul passenger aircraft MC-21-310, which is being produced domestically, will be equipped with these engines. The quantity of engines that were delivered has not been disclosed by Russia. Nevertheless, the local media shared data on the production program for PD-14 consistently from 2023 to 2024. Eight PD-14 engines were manufactured as of autumn 2023, and 12 serial engines were scheduled for manufacturing in 2024. The production of up to 24 PD-14s was anticipated for 2025. This information was disclosed in spring 2024. An additional piece of information that can be used to determine the quantity of PD-14s that were delivered to Yaklov. Nine airframes were being developed in 2024, and elements for four additional airplanes were also in production. The spring 2024 data may be accurate, assuming that there are two engines for nine aircraft and four reserves. This is not the first time that PD-14 engines have been delivered for this purpose. Irkut had previously received PD-14 engines for installation on MC-21 aircraft, with the initial delivery taking place in January 2020. Nevertheless, the primary objective of these earlier deliveries was to facilitate testing and certification. Serial production of the PD-14 engine commenced in 2023, and it was declared that serial deliveries would commence in 2024. This may be one of the first shipments of commercial PD-14 engines, but manufacturers have received them before for installation on MC-21 aircraft. The PD-14 engine production met with numerous obstacles. One of the primary concerns was the technological and performance aspects. The bypass ratio of the PD-14 is 8.5, which is lower than that of its Western competitors, the LEAP and PW-1000G engines, which typically have bypass ratios of 14 to 17. Due to this, its fuel efficiency is diminished in comparison to more modern designs. However, it is much higher than the older PS90A engines. Although it has some advantages in terms of noise reduction and operational costs, it is at a disadvantage in terms of performance metrics, such as specific fuel consumption. The production process was considerably affected by the economic sanctions that were imposed on Russia, as they restricted access to foreign components and technology for aircraft engines. As a result of this, the MC-21 aircraft and the PD-14 engine were compelled to rely on domestic production capabilities, which further complicated an already difficult development timeline. Additionally, certification complications presented an immense obstacle. The PD-14 must be certified by organizations such as the European Aviation Safety Agency to be used in Europe. This certification necessitates strict adherence to European safety standards. This presents a challenge as Russia aims to secure global market acceptability for its domestically manufactured engines. Furthermore, the initial development timelines were not met, resulting in delays. Significant delays occurred as a result of a variety of technical issues and strategic planning challenges despite the initial plan for series production to commence in approximately 2018. In October 2015, the first prototype flight was conducted on an IL-76LL flying laboratory. The cost competitiveness of each unit remains a concern, as it costs approximately $6 million, in contrast to the $5.4 million cost of Pratt & Whitney's PW-1400G engine. Although there is potential for long-term cost reductions in operating costs, there are concerns regarding whether airlines will choose the more expensive Russian-made option. International collaboration is not mentioned as an element in the development of the PD-14 engine. Russian entities, including Aviadvigatel JSC and the United Engine Corporation, were the primary drivers of the initiative. The PD-14 was developed as part of Russia's endeavors to establish technological sovereignty in aircraft engine manufacturing, notably in response to economic sanctions that restricted access to foreign components and technologies. Russia has expressed interest in expanding its market dominance beyond domestic borders, although there are no specific mentions of international collaborations in the development phase. This encompasses prospective partnerships with nations such as India, China, and Brazil.
Nevertheless, these discussions are primarily focused on the expansion of the market and future applications, rather than direct involvement in the engine's design or production. The PD-14 is equipped with cutting-edge technologies that have been developed in-house, including composite nacelle materials and wide-cored titanium blades. Russia's strategy to reduce its reliance on foreign suppliers and improve its own civil aviation engineering capabilities is exemplified by this emphasis on indigenous technology. It endeavors to guarantee self-sufficiency for both military and civilian aerospace projects, such as the MC-21 aircraft, by developing critical components within Russia. Now, do you think PD-14 will have international sales as it is both expensive and requires more fuel? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.